All human individuals typically have about the same number of the melanin-producing melanocytes in their epidermis, from those who possess the darkest pigment in human skin to those who possess the lightest pigment, even albino. What varies is the activity of the, these melanocytes and the amount of melanin that they produce. In these images, you can compare the epidermal cells of an individual who possessed dark skin and an individual who possessed light skin. Here you can see the melanin which has been injected into surrounding keratinocytes. The melanocytes exist in the basal layer of the epidermis and they have spidery extensions of their cytoplasm which allow them to inject granules of melanin into neighboring cells which then protects the nucleus from ultraviolet light. The amount of light which can be absorbed in the skin also affects the amount of vitamin D that can be produced. And so in addition to being a normal variation between populations, differences in skin pigmentation between human populations can affect the amount of protection from mutation caused by ultraviolet light and the amount of vitamin D which will be produced upon the exposure of the skin to sunlight.